Hi there. Nice to meet you. I'm, I'm Kyle. Kyle. <laughs> Bring it you're in. You're a hugger. I, I am like a hugger. It. You're a hugger. I'm definitely a hugger. Kyle, will you join me in the van? Uh, of course. Okay, Let's do on. it. Watch your head. I know. Come wow. It's, it looks a little smaller inside here when you get in. But, but it's, it's no, nice but and cozy. You can stand oh, up. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Actually, yeah. the roof extends. Yeah, you can, yeah. It's very yeah. airy in here. The windows are open. Yeah. Hi, nice to meet you. How are you? <laughs> Such a big fan, wow. Oh, thanks. Are you a local? Are you visiting? Uh, I'm a local in LA, so I've been here for six years. I'm from NorCal originally, but okay. um, yeah, so I'm actually here downtown for the Homewalk, United Way's Homewalk. So it's the United States' largest day geared towards eradicating homelessness, and it's Which specifically so in LA. Okay. So we raised about, so United Way itself raised about $1.5 million today. Wow. Um, just all going to supportive housing efforts. And what it is, it's a, started about 12 years ago as like a 5K walk slash run okay. um, and it takes you through downtown LA through Skid Row kind yeah. of through all the supportive housing so yeah. you're able to see first glance like actually what your you know tax dollars are going to and actually the all the efforts that are going towards um, you know supportive housing and homelessness and right. um, it's kind of a really cool day where you get to bring people that are you know toddlers to you know 80 year olds all coming together and uh, just all the community comes together and you so it's are, United Way yeah United Way like um, if people wanted to donate exactly donate. United Way um, dot org um, yeah. and then this is specifically United Way of Greater Los Angeles so okay. United Way is a huge nonprofit and they have different chapters throughout the country you seem very connected and very passionate to local Los Angeles issues, issues. Right, issues. right. I think people get away from that. And, totally. and I think the mistake is they're not actually making a difference where they actually might Can be able should. to make a difference. But they don't get bombarded with it like the way they do with the CNNs and yeah. the MSNBCs and the national stuff. So they don't even really know what's Tune happening. So what's the... I imagine you would know for Los Angeles, what does a person do who isn't really involved in their local community? What do they do to get involved? I will say first step is know know your district. <laughs> so know your voting know district. Your district. Like, How do you find so, that? So so simple. Literally Google it. You you can go what, online. You go say, so what go online and, and you in. you can type in your address or your zip code. Right. And I'm not sure the exact website, but I'm sure that you can just type in your zip code and it'll boom punch out. So you, you know you're the fourth. I live in the fourth district here in in, in L. A. County. Okay. Um, or or California. Or, oh yeah, no, now it's on there, right? <laughs> it's a big district. It's in downtown. We have about forty thousand people. So. <laughs> They're not gonna find you. Okay. <laughs> no, but I mean, that's the first step, right? It's okay. like, who, who are you being represented by? And then, you know, look at that, look at that representative and do they align with your issues, right? I mean, is that somebody that you want in Congress, in, in Washington, D.C., you know, advocating on, on your behalf? And I think when you start to realize that... Okay, I'm just going to slow you down because this is like politics for local politics. Dummies are solving people. <laughs> like, I'm not kidding. Like, I really think that people don't know. So you find out what district you're in. Zip code, type in the zip code, find yeah. find out who that representative is. You look they have at a website. Go to voting. the attached you, website. You, yeah. there, you look at how he or she is voting, right. and then you decide if you yeah. agree or disagree. And then what do you do? You call. And, you write a letter. And then, you email. Yeah, exactly. And then and then you can you know work with you know local nonprofits or look right. you know work on and you know different advocacy and volunteer groups that are supporting what you believe in. But the most voice you're going to have is in local politics, and the most and you know the most power you will have is going to be on the people in your neighborhood and, and what right. you can control in your general vicinity. Right. I think that gets lost because, you know, it's obviously easy to get depressed about the national news, but when you kind of look at it at a more granular scale, you say there's some great things happening right now that, that you know, my city and my neighborhood are, are supporting and advocating for. And it kind of helps you, you know, to say, you know, all's not all's not lost, you know, because there's, there's still some good things happening out there. Everyone and, needs right. to put <laughs> Kyle in a jar and bring him home because you're the most it's positive <laughs> person I've met in a really long time. Oh, I'm glad. I'm really glad about that. That's it's all I mean. So great. That's all I wanted to say. When and the is like, fact that you're so young, too, like, it's great. Great to I mean, know that's that there's exactly. people out there. Like, right. you know, my daughter's young and she has your energy, and like, right. I. That's affirming, you know, right. heartwarming to me to know I'm that there are people because, like you out yeah. there. And it's reminding me, even, you know, okay, this is. This is how. This is what I can do. This is how right, I can get exactly. involved. Exactly. You're not going to be able to take down, the, you know, the, the the huge macro issues that are happening in the country. It all starts on grassroots, and I think that's right. what we were seeing a lot in the last, you know, election cycle. A lot of this ground up, like, you know, right. people are. 
people want to be, you know, taken care of in their, you know, immediate general vicinity. And that's only going to happen through local politics. So it's a matter of gaining that power back and having that sense of like, you know, I can make a difference. Maybe it's not going to be at the very top of the scale, but, you know, for the people around me and my community and the people that I care about, it it does make a difference. And I I have a feeling I know what you're going to say to this, but what defines living a good life? Living a good life to me, I think means having the safety, having the security, and having the, um, you know, ability to live in a comfortable setting. Um, Not having to fear for your next meal or your next bed or your next, um, you know, bill that comes in. I think it's a matter of having that security overall and, you know, economic mobility, um, having the education, and then obviously having, you know, a shelter or something that a community just around you. So I think that's what means living a good life. I think it's different for everybody, but those right. are the basic things that everybody wants. And so. what is being a good person? Being a good person is realizing that you have all those things and giving back. So a great uh, motto that United Way uses is you have to learn, earn, and return. You learn the problem, you you know can earn it for yourself and for others, but then you have to make sure to return that back. If you have such a good life afforded to you, um, you can't lose sight of the people that um, you know are behind you or that have been left behind. Because you know at the end of the day, we're we're one community and we're one voice, and we right. have to be heard. So, <laughs> best advice you were ever given. Oh, best advice I've ever given or no, that's that been given ever, to me? Yeah, because you're giving some yeah. good advice. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I'm that's a sure. lot of rattled off. Yeah, I'm like, anybody ever have to give you any advice? Like, the best advice I've been given is... Um, like, how did you get like this? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Where did this come from just, and how do I buy right, it? <laughs> right? I know. Can I get a sip of that? Like, <laughs> let me just get a little drop. One of the best pieces of advice I've been given is, um, you know, always just stay humble. Humility can translate in so many different languages and it's something that always comes off as... Um, you know, caring and, and passionate. So I think those, you know, that's probably the best advice is, you know, whatever happens in your life, stay grounded, stay humble, and just know that you, you're here because of, you know, people fighting for you. And, and you know, it's always going to be a continuous cycle of that. So. Oh. Well, thank you for yeah. joining me in my van. Thank you I so feel much, like Terry. I just oh my got gosh. A big shot of Kyle. I'm, gr- I'm <laughs> like, so glad awesome. by that, man. That's all like, I wanted to do. <laughs> like, I just, you know, that, yeah, a little was, morning like, espresso, better, right? I'm going to B12 shot, you know? Like, I, I got a Kyle shot. That <laughs> right, that's awesome. even better. I love wow. that. Let's You're trademark that. You're amazing and inspiring. Thank, thank you, you so, much. so much. Thank you for the time. Yeah. I love it. Thank you. We got a teapot in here. Yeah, we got a stove. We got everything. Well, thank you so much for your time, Terry. I appreciate it. Awesome.